What's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. And in this YouTube video, we're tackling the Cape Town Cycle Tour, one of the largest time racing events in the world. Um, always a great one. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through uh, my kit setup before the race. Um, we've just returned back from Europe, so I'm laying out everything, just making sure I've got everything that I need. Um, and then also take you through my nutrition, what I do pre-race day, um, the morning of race day is also during to keep me fueled for the entire race. I've done a few of these races in the past, so hopefully you guys can take some tips and tricks from this um, for your next Cape Town Cycle Tour. Um, Andreana is also doing the race um, tomorrow. Um, if she if she's not under the weather too much um, and then afterwards my myself and Anjana and a bunch of friends will meet up for a cold one um, if we successfully complete the race so let's dive into it uh, first and foremost um, my helmet uh, other than my bike that's downstairs this is the most important thing during race day I've got my got, got my cleats they set up uh, perfectly um, in terms of kit uh, I'm still deciding if I'm going white or neutral earth tone look other than that, I've got my race bottles and uh, my cycling glasses. Um, your glasses along with your kit is about 65 to 70% of your speed on the bike. Um, so it's crucial It's crucial to get that down. Got my burnt socks, got my gloves. If there's anything I'm gonna buy at the expo, I know everyone says, and I know that's a rule, never buy something that you haven't tr trained in before, but I need a pair of uh, gloves. These are crusty and terrible. My chip number, this will time the race. And then uh, my race fuel that I'll be carrying in my bib with me. Um, they are packed with sodium. They have a little bit of caffeine in them. And I like these big ones. Really awesome bars, these. So I'll take a, about four of these. Um, they also got these little bullets that are amazing. It's a, it's a little caffeine boost. If I'm in a very dark place up Chapman's Peak or Sacred Bossy and I just need a little pick me up, these are exceptional. But then the mother of all magnesium supplements is this magnesium liquid from uh, Power Bar. If the cramps start setting in, um, I've never used them actually. I've used them during training runs, um, long, long rides. Um, luckily enough, I've never gotten bad cramps during race day. But if you need them, these are golden. In terms of nutrition, this is pretty much what I'll be having tomorrow morning. Um, I'll normally load myself a little bit harder when I'm on the bike. Um, compared to doing a running event we're running there's a lot of movement of the body uh, and a lot of food can slush around in your stomach while um, if you're on a bike uh, it's a uh, you can take on a bit more fuel from my experience and uh, it just gives you that extra bit of push during the ride obviously you don't want to overdo it um, too much but so i'll have four slices of bread pack that with a black cat peanut butter and some apricot jam um, the only reason I'm using apricot is because I don't have strawberry at the moment. Strawberry is my actual favorite. I'll have a Woolworths blueberry muffin. These things are absolutely golden before race day and as well as a banana. In terms of uh, supplementation, I'll have two bottles of uh, drinks with me. I'll, I'm stacking these uh, 13 protein or 13 nutrition. Um, shout out to 13 nutrition for hooking us up with these. Uh, I'll have one bottle of watermelon and one of the lime flavored just for a little bit of uh, other selling in between. And I'll also have a few glasses of them the day before race day. So today I'll have a few of these just to prehydrate myself come race day. After the race, I'll be having a, a whey protein shake uh, just to recover a bit um, after that uh, the long ride. So that's basically it in terms of uh, prepping for the race. So we're going to head down to the bike now and um, we're going to try and film um, some shots during the race on the bike. Uh, I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but we're going to mount a GoPro on there um, and try and get some cool shots for you guys. Uh, I think the sound clipped out there for a little bit, but uh, just to summarize, we're going to head out to the expo now. Um, these expos are always a trap. I love walking through them. Um, seeing what cool new features and cool new products there are out there. I'm going to look for a pair of gloves um, and I'm going to pick up my race number and then we'll check back in with you guys when on that side. So the weather's like this tomorrow, we're in for a cracker. I 
I think it's good to just each out goal times and uh, yeah. yeah, just overall goals for the August. Yeah, so first of all to ride, <laughs> yeah. that I'm feeling good enough to ride. I'm, then, a, I'm, I'm really hoping that you're feeling well. Yeah, I do too. So last year was my first one. Um, I rode uh, 3 hours 50 and my only goal that time was to break 4 hours. So. I think I'll try and just beat that time. Basically, mm -hmm. just beat 350 from last uh, year. To be 100% honest, we I'm not nearly as fit as I was last year. Um, yeah, we spent quite a bit of time in Europe just now, so no excuses. But last year I did around 330, so I'm just hoping for somewhere under 345. I'll be more than happy with that. This is a this race leads into my Ironman training. I'm starting on Monday, um, 12 week Ironman training for. Durban in uh, June so this is a nice uh, training ride for that uh, the Argus is the type of ride that uh, anyone can do it no matter fitness level you don't have to train for hours on end to be able to complete you might it struggle. you might struggle <laughs> that's the one thing um, but the worst is your your bum becoming extremely sore that's uh, if you don't train enough that's the one thing that kills me but all in all yeah just hoping yeah. for a great race i think um if i wasn't feeling sick today i would have had a better goal time definitely because i'm feeling like you're fit. fit yeah you're very fit i'm really fit and i'm strong in the previous rides that we did until this point this year i've been feeling really strong but i just think feeling under the weather I'm not smash gonna... it. i mean if, uh, if it means we have to get into the pain cave i know that chapman speak and sacred bossy by that time i'm gonna be cooked but we're gonna push no holding back this is so cool if you've done 10 races um, every couple of years you get placed into different groups like a hall of fame for the capital cycle tour so you can see over there there's a lot of people that have done 10 races 21 and all the way here there's people that have done 40 40 cycle tours that is that is spectacular that's insane okay let's have a look i'm telling you uh, Expo is a trap, man. Ooh, must keep that wallet hidden, otherwise we'll spend a lot of money. Let's get a photo. Tour de France vibe. Yeah. I did it wrong, you must see this. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what that looks like. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Wow. It's a, a perfect bird vibe. Chat us through this product. Chat us through this product. So it's always better when you're applying it for a friend. <laughs> Looking after all your sensitive areas. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome expo, yeah, it's lovely to see all these different brands aching to buy everything. I've got a pair of gloves, so stoked about that. I'm also the opposite. I'm always so excited about the expo when I, when I get you. I'm so overwhelmed, I don't buy anything. Yeah. Just yeah, okay, so just finished out the expo. I came out the expo, awesome experience as always in there. The damage wasn't too bad. I got a pair of gloves um, from Rafa, so I'll be sorted for race day tomorrow. And uh, from here on out, now we'll head back, we'll make a quick lunch and then just chill out today, hydrate well, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. Check you there. What's up? You said the rank amazing in the farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Early morning breakfast of champions. <laughs> Adriana, you ready? Ready, ready. It's about a 15 minute cycle to the start line here from our apartment. Uh, the streets are full, filled with people on bikes. Yeah, such a lucky vibe. Um, and it seems like it's a perfect weather. Um, the weather's so looking just up. keeping fingers crossed that the wind doesn't pick up. There is a slight the moment, wind. Yeah, there's a slight breeze blowing, but nothing too hectic. Almost ready to get going. Beautiful morning. In Cape Town. Here we go. I just want to thank my sponsors, Escom, for the sounds of silence. <laughs> Cape Town Cycle Tour 2023 done and dusted. Damn, what a nice race that was. An absolute stunner of a day. Um, to be completely honest, I had to dig deep. Uh, at some point during the race, my fitness level was just not, just not 100% there. Um, but I was aware of that. I, I made peace with that before the race already. But all in all, I had so much fun out there. And now I'm just waiting up for those my friends or meeting them up with them and I have a nice cold one. Just arrived back home. Uh, I'm going to jump in the shower and take a quick nap because tonight we're heading to the Kirsten Boss Summer Concert. But all in all, what an awesome day out on the road. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it was a pearl of a day and I hope everyone that participated had a great race. Well done to you guys and all of you thinking about maybe doing it next year, definitely get those entries in. It is honestly one of the best cycling events in the world. Um, you won't be disappointed if you enter. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button uh, to see more videos like this um, as well as business and fashion videos in the future and also Remember to smash that like button, it really helps the channel. We'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers. I really want to ride. For everyone who doesn't know, 
This is Matt. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't really mind the wind from the front, you know. I can power through wind from the front, but it's those wind from the side that just makes me... <laughs> <laughs>